Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Taurus. Hey Taurus! I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you. Okay. Now, I pulled the hangman. That's the first card. It's upright. Uh, I feel like you guys are in the midst of thinking about something. There's some decision that you have to make, and I feel like you're taking your time doing it. I feel like it's a situation where you guys feel like you're in limbo, and I don't know what decision to make. All right? But I also feel like using this time wisely is going to benefit you guys because you get to have some sort of vision. You get to give birth to a vision that puts you on a clear path because it looks like you're trying to make some decisions having to do with a business or a career. Anybody could look at this card and say, okay, this is about secrets and mystery. Yeah, the secret is I'm going within. I'm going within so I can seek and figure out what it is I want to do. I need to let something play out naturally so I don't need to aggravate the situation. Let me stay here and figure out what my next move is because I feel like for some of you guys, this has to do with aggressive moves that are going to be made in your career. All right. So I feel like you guys do have some big goals out there, right? So being aggressive in your career and also ambition, it says, all right? I feel like there's something or situation that could have started out really fast and then it kind of fizzled out. So I don't know if this could separately have to do with a Knight of Swords energy, okay? So that could be something for some of you guys. Um, also, it feels like you guys are trying to protect yourselves against something, all right? being drawn in too quickly for something, making a, a, a major decision about something. And I feel like that could involve a person as well, where you're not sure if you want to jump in. But I really do feel like this has to do with career. Uh, I feel like this has to do with career, business, and finances. So much so, we're actually going to take a look at that. Um, that Yeah, that's how much energy. So I kind of feel like with you guys, you're really in the midst of thinking, figuring things out, coming up with a plan. And I feel like... I feel like this is a time you voluntarily take because you need to do this. You need to figure something out here. There was something that you want to rekindle. Now, in some cases, this could be your career. It could be a relationship with somebody. All right. But you're being advised to stay productive during this time of limbo for you. Because even though things are in limbo, there are still some things that are consistent, such as your business, your career. So that you don't let go of. I think you're very firm in that. Okay. So we also have the Page of Swords here now. This card, this card is reversed, so some of you guys who are not partnered up, you're going to meet somebody new, all right? Separately, there's somebody who's waiting to hear back from you, so some of you guys could have met somebody recently, and maybe you decided not to call, text, or whatever, or maybe you haven't heard from them. You're going to meet somebody, but there's also somebody waiting to hear from you, or you're waiting to hear from somebody. This is um, air energy. This is Pisces, the hangman energy, and then we have air energy here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, with swords. Okay, now we have the justice card. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra. Um, oh, wait, let me go back. So with this one, the page of swords, um, separately, if you guys are coupled up, you're going to have this very lighthearted, sweet, fun, ticklish relationship, an existing relationship. I feel like it's already giddy in a sense. I feel like I'm thinking about somebody who's got a group of friends. All right, that they probably hang out with or something like that. So I feel like there's going to be more, uh, more of an enhanced, bubbly time. Hang, maybe even hanging out with friends or something like that. All right, so that's coming in for existing relationships. All right, others of you, if you're single, you're going to meet somebody. This could be the person who's waiting to hear from you or you're waiting to hear from them. Now, we have the Justice Reverse card, okay? I feel like you guys could be struggling to achieve balance. And to me, I kind of get that here with the hangman upright. I'm in limbo trying to make a decision. I feel like there's something that may have happened, right? And you did not agree with whatever the situation is ethically. And you may have feel, uh, I think you feel like, I don't agree with this. This is unethical. So I don't, you know, I don't know what the situation is, but there's some kind of decision that you're coming to, like a final decision, or you feel like something, maybe something needs to be addressed. Sorry, guys, my voice. I'm going to get water. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's justice reversed. So I feel like you guys... Um, there's something that's going to arise, right? And it's something that, I don't know. You ever see, like, the blue sky? And then you got somebody come to you and tell you, oh, that one's orange. Well, I know my test didn't say I was colorblind and yours didn't either. 
So, you know, like, you know, just something that's just so doesn't make sense. So I don't know what that's about, but that could be Libra energy. Maybe somebody's confusing you. All right. So being that we pull career and I feel like this is about your career for the most part. I feel like all these other characters in between, not, I'm not saying the ones in a relationship. I'm not saying that your partner is a character. Well, all right. The character. <laughs> I'm the character. But um, I think that. I'm not saying that they're minor players in the game, but I think your overall focus, Taurus, is you trying to figure something out about advancement. All right, let's take a look at your life purpose. What do we have for Taurus's life purpose, please? Um, sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. All right, some of you guys could be feeling bothered by some kind of a situation where it's just affecting you. Um, and making you sensitive or desensitizing you, whatever this could be about. But there are some changes that need to be made. And I think Taurus is taking Taurus's time to figure that out. Uh, all right, let's take a look and see. Give me more. Tell me what else I need to know. Tell me what else I need to know. Life purpose for Taurus, please. Life's purpose for Taurus. Practice. Okay. It's actually reversed here. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Okay, I feel like you guys are... Um, I think you guys need to polish up on your skills if you have not been. But I also feel like those of you who are good, make sure you still got it. All right, this is reverse. So maybe you're dusty. Maybe you've been doing things that are repetitive and you haven't had to, uh, you know, order the magazines that come in on Saturdays and are like, oh, this is what's going on, the latest thing in my industry. Like maybe you feel like you don't need to do that, but you're being advised that you want to pick up some kind of learning or get new ways to enhance your skills. Okay, so that could be an opportunity for you because it is reverse. All right, let's see. Give me one more, please. One more. One more. Mm. Creative expression. It is actually reverse. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. All right, I feel like some of you guys might be stuck in some sort of a bubble. Okay, maybe you, I feel like this is expansion. I feel like this is expressing yourself. I feel like you, 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 I don't feel like you're in a place where you can expand the way you want to or create the way you want to. All right. So I feel like you might be stuck in that respect and that could also be why you're trying to make changes. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull one of these. These are law of attraction cards. It's law of attraction for, what is this? I don't know. Oh, wealth and prosperity. Okay, so let's take a look at that. This law of attraction for wealth and prosperity, guys. I mean, I like these cards, but it's just, I don't know. Listen, they just tell me what I need to know. This is not about me, so. Even though I am kind of person delivering the message, I would like some comfort in my cards, but I mean, whatever. Tell me what you have for Taurus. What do you have to tell Taurus? What do we have to tell Taurus? Taurus is, uh, this is what it's about. All right. Generosity. Miss reverse, guys. Generosity reversed, okay? So the message goes, money is positive energy and it allows me to be generous to others, okay? So I feel like that could be an, uh, that could be, uh, an area of opportunity where you feel like if I had more, I'd give more. All right? Or, you know, something like that. But I feel like you guys might be looking to get to this place where you can be generous, but I feel like... Again, that's an opportunity for you so that you can build. All right, let me see what else we have. A message for Taurus, please. Another message for Taurus. Another message for Taurus. Another message for Taurus. Gratitude. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am grateful and appreciate my abundance I have in my life today. Yep, it shows that you guys are very, uh, well, very full of gratitude. I don't even know how to put that in a whatever. Okay, gratitude. I am grateful and appreciative. Oh, wait a minute. Grateful for, oh, grateful for and appreciative for all the abundance I have in my life today. Yep, that's a beautiful card. So you guys are very grateful for that. I'll pull one more. I guess I do. I could deal with that. I mean, you know what? At the end of the day, they do shed light on where we need to focus. Let's see. All right. Believe. Hmm. Believe. Reverse. I believe that each check I write Brings money back to me tenfold. I don't believe that every check I write 
I believe that every check I write brings back brings money back to me tenfold. Um, you know what? I don't even think this is being literal. I really don't. I feel like this is more of a every check I write. I feel like this is you giving. And I think you understand that you are going to get it back, but I don't know that you truly believe it. All right? I feel like you do want to give more, Taurus, but I feel like you don't feel like you're in a place where you can necessarily do that. Right? So you don't believe that every... T but at some point, you might. Hmm. Or it could literally... You could literally believe, even if you ain't got nothing from the same. Motivation. I am motivated and motivated. People help me to improve my finances. Yep. Now that's reverse. You need to keep yourself with like-minded people. Uh, you know, maybe you should go to the Goodwill. <laughs> maybe you should try the Goodwill instead of going to, like, Bloomingdale's. Maybe you should try that. If you hang out with cheap people, you won't spend much. You hang out with millionaires, you gotta spend what you got. Even if you're a thousandaire. Just saying. Okay. I don't know what that meant. Don't ask me how I found humor in that. I, I don't know. Alright, so, that's what I have for you guys. I do want to pull, let's just see if there's anything. What, what, what do they need to know for um, romance? Tell me what they need to know for romance. Tell me what they need to know for romance. Taurus, romance. Ooh, do I have a neat board? I think I do. <sighs> okay, some of you guys could be in separation at the moment. All right, time of, okay, or you could feel like so there's going to be some separation. It does say you could be coming out of separation. It is reversed. Uh, so time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That is reversed. All right, so some of you guys could be coming out of separation. Sorry, guys, about my voice. Oh, this one flipped. Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. All right. Yeah, you might want to just express your love because I feel like you guys are clouded by other things at the moment. I don't know that love is necessarily your priority, but uh, this could be the one. I think you might be questioning whether the person you're separated from um, is my partner. Like, could this could this be the one? Like, the new person that you meet, the person that you're with, maybe you haven't taken that final step into whatever you want the finality of your relationship to be. You know, marriage, whatever. All right, so maybe you're questioning, could this, this could be the one. I definitely feel this for the singles. You're questioning somebody, but you're also waiting to hear from somebody, too. Let's see if I can move this over a little bit. Oh, I think I did it okay. All right. One more, please, with this could be the one. Mm. Okay, some of you guys might be down about your love life, but like I said, if you're single, you're most likely going to meet somebody who's going to be fun, and it's going to be a really... It's going to be fun. This person's a little, uh, this person's talkative, a little outgoing. Uh, and in an existing relationship, I feel like if you guys are separated, you'll come back together. It's going to be a lighter relationship. It's going to be a little bit, it's going to be fun. It's going to be different, I guess is the best way to describe it. Okay. All right. That's all I have for you guys. Quick reading. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Wait a minute, let me make sure. Yep. I'm here. Okay, I know. <sighs> Alright. So, I mean, if I have to look at it the other way, I feel like you could also be making a decision about a couple of people. Mm. Alright. I, mean, I feel like you're waiting to hear from somebody. One of them is, I think both of them are new, but one of them are not, then one of them ain't right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to meet, I know, right? She's like, where you just come, yup, I did it. Where you just come from with that, yup. You got somebody who probably was telling you stuff that wasn't so, all right? I see that, but I feel like this could also be another, I feel like this could be maybe another person, all right, or... Somebody could be gossiping about somebody, too. All right. Some of you guys could be at odds with anybody here. But I also feel like some of you guys could be trying to make up your mind about something when you decide to come out of this fog. You could have, um, you could have to make a decision between air signs. I feel like there's a Libra involved. There could be a Pisces involved. But let me 
Swords or something. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Oh, okay. I think one of them might be memories from the past. Oh, my goodness. Somebody from the past. Again, justice. Look at that. Six of Cups reversed. Okay. And then justice. That's interesting because justice came out over here, too. That's justice. It's reversed. This justice happens to be upright. All right. Okay, so somebody from the past, and then we have the Page of Swords. Okay, hold on. Tell me more about the Page of Swords, please. Ooh. All right. Wow. I gotta figure this one out. Okay, we have the King of Wands, and it's reversed. And then we have the King of Swords. But we also, wait, do we have King of Swords? Nope. We have the King of Swords this time. Okay. Okay. I feel like somebody from the past might be having decisions or having memories about you. Maybe this person here is having nostalgic memories about you. I still feel like when it comes to choosing somebody new, you still have a choice between somebody who could be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be more air. So I feel like you do have decisions to make. About something. I don't know how this makes sense. Actually, you know what? Nah, I don't need to pull those. Okay, because we already know what that is. Alright, those could be people. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> but I do notice that uh, Libra came up twice. Okay, but we do have a, a lot of air here. Alright, guys, that's all I have for you. I love you, because if I keep, it's going to be a mess. And I'm trying to, you know. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little while. Love you. Bye. Oops.